Hi YouTube, this is Peaches. Um, this is going to be my version of a public service announcement. If I can save one person today, um, I will I will be blessed. And you will be blessed as well. Recently, my family and I, um, I had a family over. I told you all in my last video that, uh, I, I've been going through uh, some deaths in my family, so I decided to have some of my family members over to um, uh, have dinner. I cook dinner. So I went out and we, uh, my husband uh, for Christmas bought me a new uh, gourmet range. Love it, love it, love it. Well, anyway, long story short, um, after my family left, um, my carbon monoxide detectors kept going off. So, I said, oh, these things must be broken, you know. But then I said, well, why would both, you know, two be going off at the same time? But it would go off after I turned the stove off. So, this went on, you know, I'm real thick. This went on for like two days. The monoxide detector would go off. I thought it was broken. So, I went to Home Depot and bought two new carbon monoxide detectors. Yeah, real thick. Um, thankfully, one night, uh, like the next night after I put the carbon monoxide detectors in, my daughter made um, cookies in the oven. The, monox the new detectors went off. And I said, okay, there's a problem. You know, I'm not thick real for a long time, but I'm thick. So I called uh, my local fire department, and they came out. Oh my God, the carbon monoxide the readings in my house were off the chain. It was the dead of the winter, um, and it was just recently. Um, they had to raise all of the windows in my house, and they still couldn't get it all out. We wound up having to go to the emergency room for um, an acute case of carbon monoxide poisoning. We wound up staying in a hotel that night just to let the house air out completely um, and you know, I don't live in, in you know the worst neighborhood by far I live in a very good neighborhood but I'm in a hotel a few miles away from my house that every window and just about every door was wide open needless to say I didn't sleep well but thankfully everything was fine um, my my stress to you if you own anything in your house that runs by gas, your stove, your furnace, your heater, your hot water heater, anything, please, 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 please even your gas fireplace, get a carbon monoxide detector. If we went to sleep the night that my daughter made cookies and we did not have a carbon monoxide detector, we would be dead. It is called the silent killer for a reason. I didn't smell anything. I didn't see anything. The only problem we had was the damn detector kept going off for three days. I was too thick to say there was a problem. My husband, he's back and forth to work, so he really didn't get the gist of it. Um, please, please, they're not expensive. They're less than twenty dollars. Please, please get carbon monoxide detectors. They will save your life. They will, will, will save your life. Mine came from my brand new range that cost a lot of money. The store was very apologetic. They took the range back. They got me another range. Um, so it doesn't have to be, you know, your equipment doesn't have to be old or, you know, well, my stuff has, has, you know, been working for X amount of years or this is brand new. It's not going to break down. My range wasn't 30 days old. So something, something wasn't working right, allowing the carbon monoxide to go out of the house. It was staying in the house. Please, please, please get a carbon monoxide detector today. Thank you.